please make it loud for Erica Rhodes. <laughs> Erica Rhodes. Oh, hi guys, what's up? Hey. Hi. You don't have to say anything back, it's cool. <laughs> wow, a balcony. Hi, okay, cool. Uh, just getting grounded here. I, uh, you know, they always say you're supposed to write what you know, right? So, um, I sometimes like to start my set with what you won't be hearing about from me tonight. So, um, these are some topics that are not in my set. <laughs> I wrote a list out. Um, I hope, you know, it's not disappointing to you, but, um, just want to prepare you. So, okay. Uh, jokes about my adoring husband. <laughs> Haven't met him yet. <laughs> uh, my sweet little adorable preschool kids. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is a fill in the blank uh, joke. <laughs> think of it like a Mad Lib. <laughs> Uh, furniture. <laughs> Haven't bought it yet. My volunteer work in Africa. Uh, my volunteer work. <laughs> work. My 401k. You guys apparently know what that is. Uh, we, we comics don't yet. Had to Google that one. Um, happiness. My upcoming role in The Good Wife. My upcoming role, <laughs> colonoscopies, <laughs> and segues. <laughs> so I got a vibrator, because <laughs> uh, I can't afford furniture, but, um, and I like it, but it kind of freaks me out a little, because I'm not like used to getting so much attention. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, dude, simmer down. Like, give me a little breathing room. <laughs> and then I caught myself faking an orgasm and I was like, who am I trying to impress here? Like, it's just the two of us. Like, then I tried having phone sex uh, once. Um, but I'm not sure like if I was doing it right, like are you supposed to be uh, talking to someone? <laughs> like, does Siri count? I'm not sure if I got that right. Um, I just got out of a relationship. Um, he got out of it about three months ago. <laughs> but I just figured it out, <laughs> so. Uh, but he was a lot older than I, I am, and uh, the way I describe him is he was sort of like um, a sugar-free daddy. <laughs> like, he was very generous uh, with coupons. <laughs> and he once said to me, he's like, you know, Erica, we're at very different stages in our lives. You know, uh, you're at the resume stage of your life, you're working on your resume, you're building your career, and I'm in the eulogy stage of my life. <laughs> I'm focusing on what people are gonna say about me after I die. And I was like, wow, okay, uh, that's all well and good, but I don't think that I want your eulogy on my resume. <laughs> That's cool, because like now he says he considers me family, uh, which is weird, because I didn't realize he hated me that much. <laughs> I uh, did have a one-night stand about 
about a year ago. Thank you, sometimes that gets applause, sometimes not. Uh, depending on how liberal the crowd is. Uh, but no, I, uh, I, uh, I knew right away it wasn't a good idea because I got feelings for the guy. And afterwards I said, oh, you probably shouldn't have done that. And he's like, oh, don't worry, Erica, everything's gonna be okay. I was like, oh, cool, okay, everything's gonna be okay. And then I realized like we had slightly different definitions of what okay meant. You know, like my definition was, oh, everything's gonna be okay, we're gonna get married and have kids and live happily ever after. And his definition was, everything's gonna be okay, neither of us is gonna die. <laughs> after I never call you again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's my love life. Oh, also, I was uh, recently uh, seduced, I guess, or attempted to be seduced uh, by a man with Adderall. <laughs> he was like, hey, you wanna come back to my place and do some Adderall? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'm hip, okay. And uh, so we went back to this place and we did some Adderall and I think that what we learned from the experience is that Adderall is not ecstasy. <laughs> Did not have the same effects, I was not at all turned on. Uh, instead I was just very, very focused. <laughs> on not having sex with him. <laughs> I do think I'm getting better though at figuring out like if a guy isn't right for me, you know? Um, like the first little red flag is uh, he breaks up with me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the one. I, uh, I did just change all of my passwords to my ex-boyfriend's names, just to make sure I forget them. <laughs> On purpose. Uh, that's a technology joke. <laughs> no, I forgot it, but. I hate when, I have a pet peeve. I don't like when people say like, just have fun and be yourself. Because, like, for me, it's one or the other. <laughs> you know, like, I can't, can't do both. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to be one of those girls who, like, posts a photo on Instagram in some, like, really fancy yoga pose. You know, like, I think this is one of them. You guys would know better. It's like a warrior or something, right? Um, like, on top of a mountain with the sun setting and the caption. Living the dream. <laughs> I'm much more likely to post a selfie from bed with the caption, can't get up. <laughs> but I am in therapy. Thank you, wow, thank you. Very supportive, thanks. Either that or you're like, she really needs it, okay. <laughs> Um, I spend most of my therapy sessions basically just showing my therapist uh, clips from my stand-up act. <laughs> and I think I'll know I've really made it when I don't have to pay my audience $200 an hour. <laughs> but it's cool because like, whenever I freak out about not being successful, I just think, Erica, there are starving kids in Africa who are way less successful than you are. <laughs> Some of them don't even have an IMDb page. <laughs> what, is there a lot of white guilt in here? <laughs> one, one, per, one time I did that joke and someone was like, yeah, but they're in commercials. <laughs> so well, fine. But um, I did have an audi audition recently uh, to play a Swedish secretary. Thank you again. Um, <laughs> big part, big part. Uh, so there were like a lot of blondes in the waiting room, like you ladies. 
And I overheard this Japanese guy say, they all look the same. And I was like, dude, that's racist. And he goes, blonde isn't a race. <laughs> See, this is where the dumb blonde stereotype comes from. And I was like, hold on a second. I thought all Japanese guys love blonde girls. And he goes, I'm Filipino. <laughs> Such an idiot, right? I mean, I didn't even ask for his name. <laughs> All right, I'll end there on a dumb blonde joke. Thanks, you guys. I'm Erica Rhodes. Hey, keep it going for Erica, everybody. Keep it going for Erica. Make it loud for her.